Welcome back you lovely bunch, thanks for tuning in. I hope you're all doing good. As you can tell by the sound of my voice, I'm still not 100%. It's a little bit frustrating, but I've got something exciting to do today to keep my mind and hands busy. So I'll be making some changes to all of my bikes in this video. So it's gonna be a bit of a mission for me today. So what am I gonna be doing today? One second. I have to put tires on. Oh every bike that I own. I think I've got about 12 bikes, so WTB have been awesome. And they've sent over this humongous box of tires and also an absolute bucket load of sealant, because I'm gonna need this. And um, so yeah, what we're gonna do is we're gonna be putting new tires on every bike. Um, but what I've got to do is I've actually got to sort these out into piles to check that I do have pairs. All right, so as you can see, there are an absolute ton of tires here, so I need to work out what's going on what. So first off, we're going to be chucking the WTB exposures on. These are a 36C, so they're a little bit bigger. I'm currently running a 34, I think it is. Two mil wider than the ones I'm currently running, so a little bit more like cushioning. So this will be the first pair that will go on. What else do we have? Oh, the Senduro. This is a lovely 650B tire. Oh, look at this. So this is like 47 by 650, more aggressive. I'll be rocking these on my 650 wheel set. I am actually thinking about going back to having a 650 wheel set and a 700 wheel set rather than two bikes. The whole two bike things actually annoys me more than it should do. So these will be going on the 650 wheel set. So okay, so that is two sets of wheels sorted. For my multi-coloured, like cross country flat bar gravel bike, I've actually got tan walls on at the minute. A lot of you guys said that it would look better having an all black tire. So I have gone for an all black WTB Ranger. For my mountain bike, I've gone for a WTB Judge and then I've gone for the Verdict. So it's like a 2.5 up front and a 2.4 in the rear. Chunky as hell. Um, obviously these are all tubeless specific. I've got a pair of Nanos here that the ultimate like do everything tire. So these are in fact gonna go on my track lacrosse bike. I think they'll be perfect. They're 40C so they're not really wide. And um, yeah, perfect. So this is the bike that I'll be riding mostly this year. It's my gravel bike, I love it. I used to run these tires a few years ago and I've always loved them. They were like my favorite tire. So this is the WTB Rattler. It's got big side knobs. The center tread is quite closely packed, but still further enough apart to like shed the mud. And honestly, the grip on this is spectacular. I used to always use the Nano, and then I did want something a little bit wider. This is a 44 mil rather than the 40 of the Nano. So the ultimate gravel tire. So I guess we begin the long process of changing, like how many pairs of tires is this? Like one, two, three, four, five. So that's about six pairs of tires I need to change. So I guess I should just crack on, crack out the sealant and get going. I should probably do this outside, but it's raining and it's horrible. So I've got a plastic sheet down and we're gonna do it here in the living room and hopefully not make too much mess or not explode and get sealant everywhere. So let's go. So as you can see, I'm already making a massive mess and I'm regretting doing this inside. John, I'm gonna try and be a little bit smart here, I guess. Like smart, lazy. So rather than try and put the ceiling in while the wheels are on the floor, I'm gonna actually put the tires on a little bit, leave a little bit off at the bottom and I'm gonna fill it up with ceiling whilst they're on the bike upside down. And then fingers crossed, everything seals and pops on nicely and I don't then have the awkwardness of like, having to try and like put the tire back on the rim whilst the tire's not on the bike. So, right, let's see if this actually works.
right, so that is the all road kind of bike set up. Now it's time for the gravel bike, and honestly, I think they need a tan wall. Do you not think? I think the orange tan wall, don't need to be Radler. And the first set of tyres went on really easy and quickly, so I'm hoping the trend continues for this video. If it does, it's not going to be that bad, you know? I know a lot of people are scared of setting up tubeless, but like all the technology and stuff has come so far, like rims, tyres, just so much better now at being tubeless. I don't use a compressor, I just use a standard floor pump, and it seems to be working just fine. I mean, famous last words, let's see what happens now with this one, but um, yeah. Pleasantly surprised. So let's get the Radlers set up so I'm ready to rip some gravel when I'm 100%. Honestly, speed running the setup of like, what's essentially, how many tyres is it? 12? 12 different tyres? You know what, I have to pick the kid up from school and also edit this video, so I'm not sure if I'm gonna get all of these done. We'll just get as many done as we can. So apparently it's been so long since I filmed the vlog, I forgot how quickly this camera eats up the battery. So I've done two sets of tyres, I'm now on the third set of tyres. Oh, and I've got quite a few left and I'm pretty sure the battery's going to run out. So I'm going to try and speed run this massively. Right, so the next ones to go on are the WTB Senduro. A very, very aggressive tread, knobbly as hell. I love this tyre. This is going to be my like, do it all winter tyre. Um, ideal for around here actually. So I'm going to try and get these set up before my battery dies. This is taking forever. My battery's gonna die. So let's do a little bit of YouTube magic. I'm gonna check back in with you when these tires are nice and set up. Right, give me a minute. Right, and just like that, we have the 650s all set up, ready for action. I think I've only got time for one more set of tires and it's gotta be these ones. And we're gonna be going all black. A lot of you guys weren't feeling the tan ward on this. So, I'm gonna be using the WTB Ranger. It's a 29er 2.25. It's like their cross country tyre. It's a pretty much the ideal tyre for this bike. Um, there's a very tight clearance up the front of this bike on the fork. So, with a brand new tyre, there's always a chance there might be a little bit of rubbish. So, I might have to um, file down my fork a little bit more or just ignore it and, and listen to the rubbing until the tyre wears down. Right. I've got a feeling this has got a load of sealant still in it. Joe, I wonder how this rim holds up to um, tyre levers, you know, if it's going to chip the paint off or... Let's find out. Yeah. Well, that was surprisingly fine. No damage at all. I've got a big dent out of it there though, but I think I hit it on a rock. WTB Ranger. Look at that. I think you guys were right. I think a black tyre is going to look better than the tan wall. Right, which way does this go? Where's my, where's my logo? On the journey. Popped on. All right, there we go. Ding. I was trying so hard to be good and not make a mess, and look, it just exploded. Can you see this? Well, there you go. And there's also a reason why you don't set up your tyres in your house, because if you freshly painted your wall, you could end up with tubeless sealant splattered all over them, but luckily, so I still have spare paint, so I can just repaint it and give it a little touch up. And also, more importantly, the tire went on hassle free and like, oh, I think, I think you guys were right. The black does look better, doesn't it? And you know what? Most people would learn from their mistakes and not do it next to the wall that they've just painted and just splattered sealant all over. I'm going to do exactly the same thing again and hope it doesn't happen. Right, let's go. Well, it was all going really well until do you know what I realised? I put the tire on the wrong way round. And there's more chance to make a mess, right. As you can tell from the state of the wall behind me, there was a lot of explosions. There was sealant everywhere. It was basically like a porn film set. So I have two pairs left to put on. I've got my tractor cross bike and my mountain bike to do. But I feel like putting on eight tires, setting them up tubeless, with like no hassle by the way. There was like 
Minimal fuss. Yeah, dead, dead happy with that. Do you think the black looks better than the tan wall? I don't know. Well, it's gonna have to now because I'm stuck with it. Um, oh, the state of my wall. It did need a second coat, so I'm not gonna stress about it. And I did get all my tires done, see? And I've nearly lost my voice. Any questions about tires, let me know down below. I'm genuinely so happy to be back on WTB. I rode WTB tires for ages. I always said that the Rattler was my favorite gravel tire. This is like the gravel tire I kind of always wanted when I was on Goodyear. Can I say that? Um, but yeah, Rattler's amazing, so. I'm stoked to be back on WTB. I'm going to leave it there. Remember to like, comment and subscribe. Let me know what tyres you're using down below. And I'll catch you guys very soon. Bye.